Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's Running Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at the Asics GT 2000 version 11. It's not 2011, it's 2000 edition 11. It's confusing, but let's run with it. Before we get started, I do want to say that these shoes were provided to me by Roadrunner Sports. However, they didn't have a chance to preview this video and this final synopsis is my own. I'd also like to say please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing. Here we go. Now the Asics GT 2000 version 11 is their mid cushion stability shoe. The Keanu is their max cushion stability shoe. So it's kind of a step down from the Keanu. And it's also kind of, in my mind, at least the stability counterpart of the Cumulus. So we have a lot to get into here. I'll kind of compare some of the other models and we'll go through what updates kind of separate this from the other editions. Now it is confusing because there is a GT 1000 version 11 and that is basically the same thing as this shoe, but the budget version. So I think it has a little bit less premium features, not like the F, um, FF Blast midsole, the upper is not as nice and things like that. So there's the GT1000 version 11, the budget version of the GT2000 version 11, which we're taking a look at today. Very confusing, but at the end of the day, GT2000 version 11. Let's do this. As far as the stats go, we have 35 millimeters in the heel, 27 in the forefoot for an eight millimeter drop. The shoe does lose a little bit of weight this year, coming down about two tenths of an ounce, roughly 2% to 9.7 ounces. And one other thing I do want to mention with regards to weight is the comparison between this, the moderately cushioned stability shoe, and the Keanu, the max cushioned stability shoe. So the biggest difference is the Keanu comes in at 10.5 ounces, while the GT2000 is 9.7. So you save roughly an ounce uh, between these two models. So if you want something a little bit lighter but still want that stability, you can go with the GT2000. If you want that max cushion experience with a little bit more plushness underfoot, you can go with the Keanu. The upper is a Jakar mesh, which I found to have a solid breathability. It does fit true to size, although it is a rather snug experience. Now this is where I'm gonna bring in the Keanu and the Cumulus, as I think they have slightly more warm uppers. They have a more knit-like texture. I think they're all technically Jakar mesh, but a different variation. This feels more like a very thin, a little bit more open Jakar mesh, while these are a little bit more closed off. So a similar experience, similar kind of Jakar mesh, but I think the GT2000 does have a more breathable experience. As far as the tongue, ankle, and Achilles area goes, feels very much like an Asics experience. Tons of padding, really well constructed, a rather strict heel counter, non-gusseted tongue with a moderate amount of padding. Actually, again, I'll bring in the Keanu so we can take a look here again. This is like the max cushion stability shoe, and this is the moderately cushioned stability shoe. So as you can see here, the heel counters, roughly the same amount of padding, tongue, kind of the same thing going on. It feels very similar. The big difference comes with the bottom of the heel counter. The Keanu has a plastic heel clip, while the GT2000 is just your more standard traditional heel counter, which is still very well built and very much like an A6 heel counter. I, as the whole lockdown here at the GT2000, I thought was superb, feels very nice. It's just going to be a little bit less supportive compared to the Max Cushion, Max Stability A6 Gel Keanu. Moving on to the midsole, we do have a big upgrade this year. The midsole is now partially Flight Foam Blast. It's a more energetic, more lively foam and debuted on the Nova Blast 1 and has been a fan favorite ever since. Now this is a dual density midsole setup because it is a stability shoe. So the white foam that comes from the top here and then the entire forefoot is Flight Foam Blast. And then towards the back half of the shoe, we have this kind of greenish looking foam, which is gonna be a little bit more dense and more stable and wraps around and extends a little bit further up on the medial side. Now this is called a light truss as it gives you support through the medial side and does this by having this green, more stable foam. And then the rubber extends a little bit more through the midfoot, which helps stiffens things up, keeps the shoe from twisting and gives you a little bit more guidance. And then on top of all of that, or inside of all of that, I should say, is something called 3D space construction. This is something you can't see on the outside of the shoe. Basically, when Asics makes these midsoles, they have geometric shapes contained within the midsole itself that collapse in a strategic way to give you support. And then you combine all these different technologies together and Asics calls this their impact guidance system. So they have a little of a, a little bit of a branding for everything and they love to name it and you know, good on them. But um, essentially all this means is this is a moderate cushioned stability shoe. And in my experience, I thought it was quite stable. I think the Keanu is gonna provide a much more stable experience. This has a moderate amount of pronation support and does give you some supination support as well. Kind of felt like it's like a horseshoe that kind of hugs my foot and does give it a little bit more of a firm experience compared to something like Cumulus, which is just pure 
flight foam blast where instead this is just flight foam blast in the front and then a more stable more firm experience towards the back half of the shoe so you do get a moderate amount of pronation support a little bit of lateral support but in my experience it really felt like i had this kind of clip of green foam that my foot kind of sank into and had that guidance that kept me going forward and then you have that flight foam blast in the forefoot with a little bit more energy and toe off and i'll actually bring in the cumulus so we can compare them directly they look awfully similar i think the cumulus has maybe a millimeter more stack height and essentially at the end of the day at least in my opinion the cumulus is the stability version of the gt 2000 they both have that flight foam blast midsole with the only difference being the back half of the shoe and the gt 2000 having that light truss system that gives you a little bit more guidance so they do have a very very similar toe off and forefoot experience and if you're someone who liked the cumulus but did want a little bit more support i think the gt 2000 will be right up your alley and because a lot of you are probably wondering, we'll actually bring in the Gel Keanu to compare to the GT2000. Now the Keanu is the max cushion stability version of the GT2000, has a little bit more to the midsole, has the FF Blast Plus foam, which is even softer and bouncier compared to just FF Blast, and it has more of a noticeable rocker geometry that kind of rolls you forward a little bit more. It's also $20 more expensive and about a full ounce heavier. So the GT2000 is gonna be the more nimble stability shoe in a lighter package, while the Keanu is gonna be the more premium, more plush experience. Moving on to the outsole, we have a very familiar A6 lug pattern here with Ahar plus rubber and the heel for added durability. I thought the grip was fine, do have plenty of rubber coverage so it should last you a while. And like I mentioned before, you do have additional rubber through the midfoot, which is part of that light truss system, which stiffens things up and helps with its stability and guidance. So at the end of the day, the GT2000 version 11 is basically the stability version of the Cumulus and offers a moderate cushion at moderately stable ride does lose a little bit of weight this year and gets that nice flight foam blast upgrade which is a true improvement over prior versions now the one thing i will say i guess as far as the downsides go it's not the most exciting stability shoe out there i really don't think the gel on the heel does anything you can tell because they took it out of all their top tier shoes so i really don't think the gel is a necessary add here you can just take it out hopefully save some weight and it is i guess slightly heavy compared to like the cutting edge stability shoes coming out but at the end of the day i think it's a solid workhorse daily trainer i'm happy to see they put flight foam in the um, flight foam blast in the forefoot i kind of wish it was flight foam blast plus a little bit softer a little bit more energetic but we'll see what happens on future versions so let me know down in the comments what do you think of the gt 2000 version 11 and what do you think of a6 naming system it feels like the names are all over the place you have the gt 1000 gt 2000 you have the a6 gel keanu the keanu light just seems to be all over the place so i'd love to get your thoughts on what you think about that well, I'm Ryan from Ryan's Running Reviews, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.